Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We are home and settled for the time being. I'm right here doing the spaghetti. I got my ground turkey and the um, seasons that I use for complete seasoning, graduated onion, graduated garlic, oregano, and some pepper and some basil. Um, I already showed y'all how I make my spaghetti. You know I'm gonna add a packet of the beefy onion mix in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And I'm not gonna record the whole thing with me doing the spaghetti but i am going to try to do the tiktok spaghetti that people been doing a, a months ago now so i'm gonna um make my homemade alfredo sauce and i'm gonna uh, bring y'all along when i get ready and do the spaghetti but this is my meat i gotta stir it up and i'm the only one holding the camera so yeah i'll be back once i uh get my spaghetti done because I got to go to a wake right quick. And I'll be back. I'm just looking at my meat right now. And I'll let y'all see how I do my um, TikTok spaghetti. Hey, y'all. So, I am going to make the famous TikTok spaghetti that's been going on. I haven't had a chance to make it, but I am going to make it today. My spaghetti already done. I want to let you know the ingredients that I'm using to make my homemade Alfredo sauce. I am using some Parmesan Oregano. Asiago, finely shredded parmesan, parsley flakes, some Italian herb seasoning, some idolized sea salt, and some black pepper. And we're just going to bring this to a bowl. I did already pour my heavy whipping cream in. And I use um, one and a half cups of the heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of butter. This is the heavy whipping cream that I used. And let me pull it up so you all can see. It's starting to come to a boil. And just a little salt to taste, not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the um, cheese, and I keep this in the refrigerator. I'm not gonna put too much of this, and it's got that Asiago and Romano. This cheese is so good. I'm just gonna put a little bit of that. You can say about a half a cup, but I am gonna use a half a bag of this. And that's just making your Alfredo sauce. I like to make it homemade. And I will be getting my spatula. And we're going to bring it to a bowl. And while that's getting ready to boil, I'm going to get my spaghetti and we're going to layer it up. And I decided to use the whole bag. That way it can be good and creamy. Okay, you see it's starting to come to a boil. Starting to come to a boil. We're going to turn it down low. Once it starts coming to the boil, we turn it down low. Okay, y'all, I am going to use some mild shred, finely shred, no. So, yeah, some mild finely shredded and some Italian four cheese. For the spaghetti casserole and I will not be putting all the spaghetti in the casserole and 
And that's how my big, what is the Oh, somebody up on video on my spaghetti books. Sauce, then spaghetti. And I'm not gonna make a big old pan of this. Okay, that's Fragrance sauce, and we're just going to pour a little bit. And everybody do it different. Be back when it's done. Okay, y'all, it's gonna go in the oven and we'll be back when it's done. Okay, y'all, the spaghetti is done. I just want to show y'all, and I'm gonna cut it and let y'all see how the juices look on the inside. I did pull it out the oven and let it sit for a minute. Just still juicy. Still letting it simmer. It's good and hot. But alright, if y'all like this video, please comment down below. Like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.